Hi, this is Paul from Nine no Fiance. You're watching the Dominic Natic Show. He's your favorite cast member from 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> they hate me. Your they favorite, like <laughs> he's your least favorite cast member. Paul, are you in Kentucky? Or are no. you in I'm no. Brazil on the Amazon? You're in you are in Brazil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you dating someone right now? And if so, can you tell us who it is? Right. Right now, we're taking a break as of right now. So I don't know what's going to happen next month because, you know, we, we take our breaks every now and again, and usually we work things out within a month, two months, you know. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. You're taking a break with with who? Somebody I was talking to here. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you, were, you, you did have a girlfriend. Yeah. And then she's in, she's in Brazil. Yeah. How long have you been, were you dating this person? All right, we've been dating on and off since, um, uh, we met in 2022, and we actually made it a f more like an, a more official thing in 2023, early on, and then we just kind of like on and off, on and off, on and off. How old is she? 21. She's 21. Oh. <laughs> so a little bit. Like 20, so, you know, a little young. A little young. Well, how old are you? I don't know. You're, you're 40? Yeah. 40. Oh, you're 40. She's 21. Yeah. Oh, she was 19 when you met her. Is that right? Or... I think so. Yeah, she was okay. a little bit younger when we met. She, yeah, she, she looked a lot older. She looked and acted a lot older. Oh, for sure. Okay, but you have you dated anyone or been with anyone in Brazil that's under eighteen? God no. Okay. That no, means. because because of her cousin. I mean, because of her niece. Her niece. Uh, we did a lot of videos with her niece, and her niece was seventeen at the time. Her niece is over eighteen now. Okay. But her niece was seventeen previously. When was the last time you spoke to Karini? We talk to her every day. You and, We're still legally married, so. So she's at your house, and you're in her home country? Yep. My house, driving my car. So. She's definitely doing better than she was, which is good. And the new guy she's dating is definitely better than the previous guy she was dating. I mean, one of them, God, I remember one guy, he was up in Chicago. The guy was a, a registered sex offender involving a child. And, like, it was like, my God. The worst one recently was the one that was a drug dealer, and that's when I came back. I was in Saint Gabriel. Um, she hit me up from a fake number. We started talking and stuff as friends, and um, she ended up in the hospital. So I ended up calling the police department. They had to go out there. And basically, the the one guy they got her trying some stuff that was uh, that landed her in the hospital that was really bad. Uh, that 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 was when I went back to the United States and realized I didn't want you know things to get any worse. You know, I have to go back for a funeral or something crazy. Beyond our weird kind of open marriage thing going on. They're asking a lot about the kids. Granny hasn't seen the kids since before Christmas. She still has her Christmas presents. So she hasn't seen them at all. When was the last time you saw your children? It was June or July. June or July of 2022. They're with the foster family now, right? No, they're with my cousin. They're with your right cousin. Now. There's a lot of stuff going on with my cousin. We found out that was illegal, too, which we're dealing with that. So it's a, it's a female cousin. And, and then does she have kids? Like, is she... Experience. She does. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things going on like with that. She does have have a child. They own the company. They make, I think, over a million dollars a year at the company, I think. But they have all the government insurance plans and the government programs they have. How often is Karini seeing the kids? Not at all. Not She's at all. Not I, haven't seen seen them. I haven't seen them. She, 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 she goes to work and college during the week. She spends the entire weekend with her boyfriend, goes to her boyfriend. Like, pretty much it's like college, work, or boyfriend. That's it. That's all it is right now, which frustrates me. It's like, you need to, you to try you know, the kids and everything else, but no. She hasn't seen him since last year. She hasn't seen him since last year. You haven't seen him in yeah. two years. They're uh, with your cousin. She's so focused on, you know, stuff with her boyfriend. It's like, you know, get the kids back first and then date whoever you want at this point. But are, are, fortunately, it's not. Are either one of you interested in having custody of your children? Are, are you interested in having full custody of them? I or absolutely am, 110%. I'm doing things here, trying to deal with finances and things work-wise, trying to make sure all the ends meet, which is difficult. If you're trying to get your kids back, why why are you in Brazil? Most of the ways I make money is in Brazil. So in order to make money, because like I said before, I was paying the bills in the United States and the bills here. And, you know, doing things here in the United States, a lot of the work I had there, you know, there wasn't a whole lot. Uh, of things that I could do there. Now, there was a friend of mine that was trying to get me to uh, do like a little part on a TV show on Paramount Plus and some little bit of acting and things like that there, which I consider, but my mind has just been really a mess. 
So me doing any type of like acting or anything like now would be bad, I think, because I wouldn't be really focused and it would just destroy everything. But you're making more, more money working in Brazil than you are in the States? Oh, yeah. That seems... Um... Yeah. Amazon stuff and everything here, yeah, absolutely. Ironically, I'm living in the same area as her, as her family. Her family are all in the apartments next to me. So in the apartments where I'm at right now, all of her family, yeah, but everybody of her family, her mom, her brothers, cousins, all of them live in all the different apartment buildings through here. So, yeah. Do you, do you, <laughs> have, you run into them? We see every day. And we see? live, like, right next door. I mean, like, literally, like, open my door and I can see them. In your relationship with Karini, have, have you ever feared for your life? Or she ever physically like threatened your life? There was one incident I know involved Dairy Queen that was it was crazy. We ended up because I was eating a Dairy Queen and kind of find out there was like glass shards of glass in my blizzard, and I got mad. I'm like, what the f, right? So I, I contact Dairy Queen. I'm mad. I'm very mad. And then uh, I could, I found later as I cleaned the house, I found a broken snow globe, and the broken snow globe I found had the exact same types of shard of glass that was in my blizzard. That was like a, you know, a few days later when I discovered this. And I'm like, it just got my wheels turned a little bit. Like, this is a little strange. Uh, of course, at that point, I apologize to Dairy Queen. You know, sorry, guys. <laughs> it's not your all's fault. I apologize. And there was some other things along the way that happened, you know, that had some concerns. So you're saying, but, saying that Karini put shards of glass I don't, in your I don't, I don't, I don't know what happened. I know that I had a blizzard and I was eating it. I uh, put it in the house. I started upset down. I picked it up. I was eating it, and I, had, I found some hard glass on my mouth. And then three days afterwards, I found a broken snow globe with the exact same glass shards that was in my blizzard. So that just made me concerned. I'm not saying she did anything. I'm just saying it was a little weird. It was a little suspicious. It was a little strange. She's also accused of having STDs. Do you know anything about that? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I got lucky. I dodged a bullet on that one. Um, part of the CPS test was they tested me, Karini, the kids. They tested us for drugs, and they tested us for, you know, other things too. Um, we all, well, me and Karini came back clean for drugs. Um, I'm not going to talk about what the kids. So it's a whole different matter. And then we found out that Ethan and Karini had something similar uh, that me and Pierre didn't have. Um, unfortunately, he'll have that for life, and I felt horrible for him. But, uh, so basically, she had cheated on me when she was pregnant, and unfortunately, Ethan, during birth, um, uh, I don't want to get into that too much, because it, it bothers me a lot. It really does, but that's why I post my CD records every now and again. I'll go post my CD results. That's why. It's a big reason why. It's like, you know, I, I'm still clean. I don't have anything. Uh, but the whole fact that, that Ethan... Pierre, he's fine. Pierre, he dodged a bullet just like me, but Ethan, unfortunately, um, yeah, he'll have that for the rest of his life. And it, I, is, is it, yeah. is it herpes? Is that, that was the... It's a few different things. A few different things. But that's, things. I mean, I, want, I don't want to specifically, I don't want to specifically say what it is. Um, it's nothing lethal. It's nothing that's going to, I mean, what he got should have, could, could have. It could have killed him in the first six months, but it didn't. I suspected it because you could hear in their lungs and stuff what was, what was going on. But it was an STD that was passed on to Ethan. Yeah, unfortunately. Are you done with TLC? Like, would you ever be on The Single Life, or do you talk to the network? Is there any chance of you being back? There, the there's show? a possibility for me. Karini's banned. Karini can never uh, go back on the show at all uh, after what she did. Um, because, and a lot of people don't understand what all happened. But uh, <laughs> she accused... Uh, Sharp Entertainment and TLC of human sex trafficking her and like human trafficking and much other stuff. And she also accused them of driving her to want to commit suicide. And they also accused their, them of uh, being abusive to her and the children. So, yeah, they washed their hands of her a long time ago. Long time ago. And I told her, so go back and film the show again. I was like, Creamy, I, I've talked to, you know, I've talked to them before. After what you accused them of, there's no way on God's green earth they'll ever put it back on that show. Like, who would you date if you could date someone from 90 Day? I don't know. Angela's looking pretty good. Who's that? Angela? Angela's looking pretty good, yeah. Angela? Is that what you said? Are you talking yeah, about Angela like, Dean? The yeah. OG? Like, the. Yeah. Angela oh. Dean? Yeah. Have you, uh, like, have you reached out to her or, like, tried to, like, hit her up in the DMs? Um, 
sent her a message. She had texted me before with all the dramas of going on with Michael. She's been kind of reclusive. But, you know, you know, she gets me up. She gets me up. You know, it's whatever. That seems like a different type for you. I mean, <laughs> they, they, I, 